when we're modeling in Fusion 360, sometimes it's very helpful to have a sketch of a concept that you have embedded into your workspace. That way you can move and manipulate forms to match the sketch or idea you already have. You can also bring in photos of objects you want to match to scale, and that way you can design around physical objects and spaces easily. But how do we do that? We need to add a design inside Fusion. Here I have a, a project already set up. It's saved, and I have a component that I've created, and that component is activated. Up at the top, I can click Insert, and I want to select Canvas. Select Insert from my computer, and here I have Bare Front JPEG. Select Open. Then Fusion will ask, what face should I put it on? I'm going to put it on the front face or the ZX plane. Once I do this, there's a few options. I can scale the canvas up, which I'm going to do, and I'm going to press 4. And then I'm going to press OK. Now if I click on front, I'll see my canvas right here. I'm going to add another canvas. Click Insert, Canvas. Select From My Computer. And this time I'm going to click Bare Side. And click Open. It will ask me what face. I'm going to click the side face. I'm going to scale it by clicking the center scale button. Type in 4. But if you look, my bear is facing the wrong way. In the canvas options, I can click horizontal flip. So now I have it here, and it's facing the right way. Now if I click on right, I'll see my bear here. If I click on front, I'll see it here. But sometimes I need to be more accurate than this. This has to be a specific size. How do I do that? Well, inside the component, you can go to canvases. If I right click on bare front, I can calibrate it. Now it wants me to select two different points. So I'll click here, then here, and I can type in 50 millimeters. Now it has scaled this image to be exactly 50 millimeters. I need to do that for the side too. So I'll rotate to the side. Right-click bare side, calibrate, click at the top of the head, in the bottom of the head, and type in 50 millimeters. Now I have two images that are calibrated for modeling. And now I can go ahead and bring in different forms and make sketches on my model. I can either sketch directly on the model by creating a sketch. I can use the spline tool to sketch out a simple form of this head. So sometimes this is a good way to get your splines in and to edit them into something that you want based on your design. In addition to sketches, we can also use this to edit forms. So if I create a new form, I put in a quad ball, I can select the front face, put it at the origin, select how many span faces that I want. I'll select six for this. And if I want to have symmetry, I can click Mirror Symmetry. And then I can scale this up. And now I can edit this form by right-clicking Edit Form. I can choose my selector. I'm selecting Faces. And then I can rotate and move these faces how I wish to get my form right where I want. And then I can go to the right-hand side. I can look at this, and I can move these faces back. I can rotate the faces, move them. How I want and continue modeling. So fusion can be very helpful when you're trying to model something by having these sketches. One last tip before you get going on your sketches, notice that these are kind of in the way. So since we're using orthographic views looking like this, I can move these sketches. So if I right click, move copy on the bare front, I can move it behind my sketch. And then if I look at front, I can still see it when I'm on the front, but then it's not in the way. So let's do the same thing for the side. So I'm going to right click on bare side, move copy, and then I'm going to move it to the side. And I'll say OK. 
So now if I look at front, I don't have anything in the way of my selections. And if I look at the right, I can still see what I need and model as I go. So hopefully you can use sketches to model your forms and be able to use them as a guide as you're working and calibrate them so things are the right size.